Jennifer from The Good Life and welcome back to part two of this felt stocking kit. Um, I'm going to be showing you a couple of things and we're going to start doing the first couple of steps of making the stocking. Um, the first step for the stocking is to embroider and sequin the front of the stocking. So um, I've already done that and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the front of the stocking. And as you can see, I've already started the embroidery and sequins. The embroidery on the top is a combination of outline stitch and a satin stitch for the stems. The bottom um, has sequins that I've already done, and they're white, white sequins with clear beads on them. And I will show you how to do those later on. The second step in our instruction says to embroider and appliqué the leaves two and three to the top of the stocking. So here are leaves number two, and I've already started embroidering these leaves, as you can see. These are the number two leaves. The number three leaves are a different color, so I haven't done those yet. I will demonstrate how to thread the needle and best way to knot the end, as well as show you how to do a outline stitch. So you can tell the number two leaves are darker, and they are obviously numbered number two, and they're showing this symbol for the stitch and the color. So we have to go all the way over here. Down here it gives us the stitches, and it's telling us that this dotted stitch is the color light green. And the stitch that we're looking at is outline stitch, and I will be showing you how to do that. So this kit comes with two different types of needles. The needle we'll be using will be on the left, it's the embroidery needle. The right needle is for putting beads and sequins on. For the number two green leaf, we'll be using two strands of the light green thread. To separate one strand, I use my thumb to hold all the rest of the strands while I take the one strand and pull. That way it won't bunch up and knot and you get your one strand. The quickest way to thread a needle is to wet the end and slowly put the end of the thread through the eye of the needle. Luckily the eye of this needle is big enough to where you don't have to worry about it but sometimes it can take a little bit of practice. Now we need to get two strands out of this one large strand. So what I do is I double it up and um, I'm, I'm gonna meet the two ends together to create two strands that we need. Rather than using two separate strands, I'm using one large strand to make two. again and take the end with your two first finger and your thumb and you wipe it around and twist and then pull with your nail and then keep pulling to create a secure knot. This will take some practice so take some time and practice that technique to make a knot. It's the best and quickest way. To start the outline stitch take your needle and go under the fabric and bring your needle up to where you want to begin. To create the outline stitch, take your needle and your thread, push it up, and take your needle and find the position where you want and bring it up, almost meeting the end, not quite meeting the end. 
And that way your thread's gonna line up in the middle of, of that line. Bring your thread up again, I'll show you again. Take the end of your needle. Bring your needle halfway so it meets the end of the first one. Pull it tight. I'll do it one more time. Keep doing the outline stitch until you reach the end of the line on the leaf and I'll show you how to finish a line. Finish off the stitch, take the end of your needle and pu push it through just like that. And then all you need to do is turn your fabric and begin again the same way you did the first time. Come up through the bottom and do the stitch again. It'll be shorter this time because of the little stems. and. Make sure to always check the back because sometimes your thread get twi gets twisted up and it cannot and I've had that problem before as I am now. <laughs> so you just take your fingers and you fix it and pull it through and make sure it's nice and clean in the back so that it lays flat like that. Now that we've finished the embroidery, we need to knot the back. And this is how I usually knot everything that I thread, including beads and everything. So you go through, you pick up some felt with your needle, make a loop, and you take the end of your needle and you thread it through that loop, and then you pull to close it, and then that makes a second loop, and you thread through that loop, and then pull it tight. This way the embroidery stays nice and firm and you don't have to worry about the thread coming out or anything. I just take some, I pull up some more felt and just stick the end through and take some scissors and I use my little scissors for cutting thread and you just take it and you cut it. So that is the outline stitch, and I forgot to show you where in the instructions it shows the stitches. There's a bunch right here, and that is the outline stitch that we just did. So it gives you um, sort of instructions on how to do the stitch, um, but I thought it was just easier for me to show you how to do it. So that's what it's supposed to look like. And next time I will be uh, showing you how to bead and sequin. 
um, your pieces as well as the applique stitch. The applique stitch is pretty easy compared to the outline stitch. Um, but I'll be showing you that in the next video, so I hope to see you next time.